Namaste everyone, Namo Himalaya, good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are in the world. And welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing some uh, asanas, a, a flow for your thyroid gland. It's a rainy, rainy morning here in Barbados and I had to find some some kind of shelter. So <laughs> I'm here under uh, a tent. Um, and so we're gonna make the best of today's practice, okay? So uh, before we get into today's video, um, go grab your mats, grab a sip of water, um, grab your notebooks if you need to, and uh, yeah, I'll see you on your mat in a few seconds. Namo Himalaya everyone and welcome back to the video. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a vinyasa for your thyroid gland. Now for those of you who don't know what your thyroid gland is, it's a little butterfly shaped uh, gland that's located right here in your throat. So um, this, this gland is responsible for your metabolism and for you know losing weight, gaining weight, the, those kind of things, right? Your entire endocrine system. So um, there, there are two types of thyroid. Um, what do you? What would you say? Complications, um, challenges that, you, if you will, and one is called hypothyroidism, which is when your metabolism slows down, you start to gain weight, you know, you feel lazy, lethargic. Um, those are just some of the symptoms of hypothyroidism and the next one is hyperthyroidism and hyperthyroidism is as you can tell by the name hyper your entire body goes into overdrive it's like in superdrive right um, so you start to lose weight super quickly um, very strange things begin to happen with your body um, your nails may start to look strange um, your skin starts to look dry um, your eyes may start to bulge out of your out of your socket and uh, you may you may get some tremors in your just by sitting by doing nothing really um, you might start to get tremors within your body uh, and that's hyperthyroidism so hyperthyroidism some people uh, they go on medication for both types um, and uh, it become they get it under control and other people choose to do things the holistic way um, and uh, hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism can be controlled um, sometimes with medication but it can also be controlled by doing a little bit of lifestyle lifestyle changes all right so moving your body exercising getting the blood flowing that energy moving throughout your body and um and also with your diet okay so today's practice is geared and centered towards opening up and stretching your your thyroid gland and opening up opening up so that the energy can flow through as freely as possible okay so if you uh know anyone or if you yourself are suffering from uh, any form of, of thyroid issues then this video is for you and whenever you're ready let's come on our mats we begin today's practice by warming our bodies up by doing one round of surya namaskar bring yourselves to the front of your mat stay here keep breathing inhale and exhale ground yourself Prepare your bodies and your minds. Focus on your breath. And let's begin our practice.
Now as we begin to finish up our Surya Namaskar, we begin to focus on the asanas geared towards your thyroid. Look at your screen and follow along. The names are listed and will glide across the bottom of the screen so you know exactly which ones to practice.
Now, as we come to the end of our practice for today, lay here in Shavasana. Relax yourself. Breathe. Inhale and exhale. And just calm yourself. Calm your mind. And as you go about your day today, go about it with great intentions, powerful intentions. Until our next video, like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Go out there, live your life with purpose, on purpose. Namo Himalaya.